Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thomas Doyen and I am responsible for business consulting at Heidelberg. Uh, today I'd like to show you something about Prinect performance benchmarking and how we at Business Consulting can help you achieve good performance in your company. First I'll give you a general overview of what we at Business Consulting offer. We have three columns. Uh, one of them is the business development column, where we do marketing and strategy and, uh, and management coaching. The second column is the proce process optimization, which will be the main uh, topic of today with process design, material efficiency, competence analysis, with uh, make readies and uh, uh, print shop planning. And the third column is the investment planning, where we help you over a structural analysis of your print jobs to uh, invest into the best machine for your, for your company. Uh, first, I'd like to give a short overview over what uh, Predict Performance Benchmarking can do. Predict Performance Benchmarking is an internet-based solution which uh, does an automatic recording of the data of your Speedmaster, uh, gives you a productivity analysis of your uh, machines, it gives you an, a comparison, an MS comparison of where you stand, and uh, the data that we provide is uh, provided over the Predict online portal. Predict performance benchmarking shows you how good you are in comparison to the best in comparison to the average. It identifies areas of improvement and it is an effective uh, way of finding areas for improvement in your company. Heidelberg Business Consulting can uh, help you in this process. Uh, I'd like to come to the topic of process analysis. Uh, in the process analysis, we uh, speak of three different processes. The first one is the one as you think it is. It's the one that you would explain to somebody in your office of how something works in your company or in your department. When we go into your uh, company and we do an analysis of how the processes are, we will come out with the second one, the one how it really is. Much more complicated, uh, usually many more uh, exits, many more questions, and uh, uh, very many, many places that we can find uh, improvement. And the last one is the way you would like it to be. A simple, very easy process that comes to a conclusion, that comes to result quickly. When we look at a uh, print shop, uh, with a print connected print shop, with the different departments, with business management, with production management, with the, uh, with the print area, with the production, with the bindery, with pre-press. We have the logistics, for example, dispatch. When we look at your uh, company, uh, we will then identify new areas. We can look at the whole company or we can take different sections out. We can only go to the shop floor and look at your printing process. Uh, we identify new possibilities for your company. We compare your production and company data with benchmarks in the industry. Uh, we do a close examination of your company's processes and we discuss if they are good, if they could be done easier, if there is improvement. We do this with you and your staff, which is very important because your staff usually knows where room for improvement is. We use the interview technique to identify these um, potentials, and we work out the potentials to improve to your added value process, because what we want to do is we want to cut out waste in your company. Uh, we certainly enhance the awareness to clearly define processes in your company, and we give you transparency, and we also help you know, communication in your company uh, become better. What is the approach? We do a line walk. We walk along the process, we look at the process, and we examine it, and we note everything that we find. 
We have the staff interviews. The, elevation, the evaluation is done on site in your, in your company. We use the method of value stream mapping to, to describe and to, to identify uh, the improvement areas. <coughs> Sorry, and we work out a specific uh, plan of action. With this specific plan of action, you have the um, possibility uh, for a higher sustainability. We work out a new efficient process. We do an optimization of your materials and your information flow. And we have a better cooperation, interdepartmental inter cooperation in your company. One of the findings would be a, a value map like we would have here, a process. We have a value stream for the bid proposal. We took out only one part. We only took out the bid proposal process. And we would look at this bid proposal process coming from the supplier, in this case the customer, going back to the customers. We have 4,000 proposals, 18 proposals per day, which have to go through different departments. Yes, and when we look at the departments, we have three findings in this example. One of the findings is number one, the first, the first um, uh, area that we found, it is that we use the same method for making proposals for each, uh, um, for each proposal that we do. We do not decide if it is a big, if it's a, if it's a small proposal. We don't do an ABC analysis. The second thing we found is that the calculation department at 30% have to go back to the sales support team for questions because of the proposal that we are doing, the offering, the data is not complete and it has to be completed. There are many questions, many callbacks. And the third finding is that we have a long waiting time, two work days between the sales support team and the company manager, management for uh, the officially, you know, for, for the release of this offer to the customer. And when we look at the time frame, we, only, we have less than three hours of working time for this proposal, but it takes us almost seven days to get this proposal through our company. And time is money, and uh, so we have a throughput time here in this case. And as you see, we have a material flow and we have processes, but material flow can also be information flow. It's not only material flow. When we look into this, pro uh, when we look into a print shop, we look into the three areas. And uh, uh, let's say, for example, the order management, we have the calculation process, the bid proposal management, purchasing, job ticket, order tracking, and the post order calculation. In pre press, we also have the job ticket. The job ticket is a central element of each pr uh, print shop and has a special, has a very special attention. Uh, we have content management, color management, workflow in the pre-press, and when we go into the print uh, shop, when we go down uh, to where the money is made, the supply of materials, logistics, workflow, color management, and the cleanlessness, for example, of your company, competence of your printers, the material efficiency, uh, the material flow and layout. And we can help you all in these areas, and there are further, uh, further areas also. For example, um, logistics, for example, uh, the, uh, the binary area that we look into. This is just a, 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 just a, a glance into your operation. I'd like to show you one case study um, where we found improvement in a mid-size uh, print shop. But first, I'd like to take a look into uh, printing performance um, benchmarking uh, screenshots. Um, here is a screenshot for the OEE, the overall efficient equipment efficiency. And in this equipment efficiency, we always have three, uh, three uh, variables that come to, uh, to make the OEE. The OEE is here very small. It's only it was 5% in, in July 11. It was almost 10% in August 11 and it went up to 50% in September. So the customer was to increase. But when we zoom down into this, we see that the OAE is formed 
by three different factors. One of the factors is the speed indicator, that's the gray one. The speed indicator shows the production speed to the maximum speed. It's the black one is the time indicator, the production time to the total time. And the third one is the quality indicator, the good impressions to the total number of impressions. And here you can see that we are almost at 90%. So the quality is not the first concern, and it's not the speed indicator. It's the, the time indicator, which is very low in this case, and which takes down the OEE so that this customer is below average, which is the red line, and he's far away from the best in class, which is the black line. Now, when we look at this, one possibility for the customer could be that he is wasting time in his make readies and that's what we found in a customer like this and i'd like to show you uh, a short glance into the make ready in this case study we had a customer with a cd 102 six uh, in a coding unit six color coded unit he did four to six color jobs single-sided jobs has a lot of ink changes per year and maybe another important thing he has 3800 make readies per year when we look into his time, when we look at the 100%, 43% of his time is, is spent for make readies. Only 29% of his time is printing time. And then there are some other times and idle times that uh, are not accounted for in this example. When we look into the make ready time, when we look into these um, uh, into this uh, make ready time, we'll make 100% out of the make ready time. We see that over 40% of the make ready time is, organ is organizational, has organizational content and not machine related content. And about, and all of these organizational things can very often be simply solved by simple measures. They're very, you know, very simple things. And when you look at the examples, you will say, well, why? Why didn't he do it from begin, to begin with? And it's, um, so we look at these, we look at these uh, 43% and uh, we could pick out exe all except for nine minutes. We took out five minutes because the ink kitchen will mix the inks in future and prepare them order related. Uh, the printer will not take away the prints and, and dispose of them while, the, while he's doing the make ready, he'll wait for the startup of the press, and while the press is running the job, he'll then bring him to the trash. Um, the CDT department delivers the plates, and the printer doesn't have to go and pick him up, so he's not walking away from his press. And we have now defined staging areas for the logistics to put the material down, and to uh, put the material down for the new job and where the printer puts his print job that he has just finished. So there's no questioning, he's not looking, he's not searching. A lot of this is a search and find and seek, you know, it's a lot of this is done. But we also found two other things in the uh, machine related make readies by you getting an additional pair of clamps. You can do a, a ink change faster, a color change faster that brings about three minutes and we have another synergy while, because we deliver the inks and the coatings order related. So all, to, all overall, we were able to reduce the make ready time by 38% uh, or 23 minutes, and this can go straight into production. Very important is that you have to define how the new process is. That's why we have this make ready script. When you look at a make ready script, this is like a timeline. Green is he's printing. Where the black line is, that's where we start with the make ready. And when he's black, when we're after black again, we're printing again. So green is a good time. That's what we want to see is uh, print time. Yellow is press related make ready, and red is organizational make ready. And if we don't define how the make ready process is to be, and if we don't make it available for all employees and staff and uh, train the staff on how to do it and we don't show the improvements in the process, we, we won't be able to improve the process. So it's very important. And in the print shop, you can always take the make ready script and you can always check to see if the process is still running as defined. 
I'm coming to the end of my presentation, and I'd like to um, conclude this all in one picture. Every problem is unique, and every problem needs a, a tool to fix it. And uh, you have to take time to use these tools. And in this question, yeah, we don't have, why don't you cut, why don't you sharpen your saw? Well, we don't have time, we have to cut wood. I mean, this is, you know, it explains the problem itself. If you don't take the time, if you don't, you know, look at your processes, then you won't be able to improve. And we from Business Consulting, we offer our help uh, with Heidelberg. We have a lot of experience and we can help you in this process. Thank you for your, for listening. Good evening. <laughs>